Hi, I'm Pablo Coma. I'm the game director on Outcast, A New Beginning. Outcast, A New Beginning is a third-person open-world action-adventure game. In it, you play Cutter Slade, a former Navy SEALs resurrected by mysterious forces to help liberate the planet of Adelpha from robotic invaders. When imagining what the game will be about, we decided that a key point would be to make it completely non-linear. After a brief tutorial, you can go literally anywhere in the world. We don't lock remote locations behind an experience system. The first outcast was of course our main inspiration, but more recently, Breath of the Wild was a fantastic game using the same design principles. We tried to keep the same feeling of liberty, but give the player different tools to exploit it. Like the gliding suit that can go really fast and doesn't consume energy, so if you start on top of a mountain, you can glide for a very, very long time. And other skills allow you to move fast on the ground from very early in the game. We have a big world of 64 square kilometers, and we believe it's a major part of the fun of the game to discover every corner of it. We hope being able to move fast will entice players to push the exploration of undiscovered areas. To progress in the story, you will have to help the talents, the inhabitants of the planet you are on, to get rid of the invaders who are ransacking their lands and exploiting them. To do this, you will not only need to fight against these invaders, but also help the seven different villages to solve their problems, and they will also help you in return. Could you do this again? Or no, even better. Could you create some kind of smoking projectile? For example, in Sapa, the coastal village, you will discover by talking to villagers that the invaders have captured their beast tamer. That village relies heavily on flying animals for fishing and traveling. It also makes it hard for them to find food. At this point, you can choose to either help them fish using your jetpack or immediately rescue the beast tamer who is captive in a nearby enemy base. So after you free the beast tamer, the villagers will offer to assist and fight for you in their own way. If you help them tame new animals and manufacture bombs, they could fly above your combat location and drop bombs to help you in combat. You can choose where to start the quest. If you ask the beast tamer about flying animals, you'll be sent to gather them, but it will be challenging. They need specific larvae as bait and you must attract them by shooting larvae nests. Be cautious as the nag bees won't like you using their larvae as food. Once you bring the flying bees back, the taming process begins, which takes time. Alternatively, you can start by making bombs. You need to go to descent for materials, complete various missions to gather them and assist the artificer in crafting the bombs. This task can be done in any order. Descent also needs food due to the invaders, so you must help Sapa get more fish. Eventually, Sapa will send fish to Descent, and in return, Descent will send bombs to Sapa for their beast riders to use. A bomb for a fish. How does that sound for a trade? I can make that happen. And that is another thing we wanted to tell in the game. It's not just about finishing one village and then proceeding to the next one, it's about the different villages helping each other. The story of Outcast is about bringing back unity in the Talan civilization. During combat, the player will be able to use the powers we talked about, like the aerial bomb raid, but they will also have a whole arsenal at their disposal. Once again, our main intention is to give the player as much freedom as possible. So we decided to not give them a closed set of weapons, but rather to allow access to a whole set of modules, allowing them to combine them in any possible way. While wandering the world, we'll come across various interesting locations. Essen shrines, asking you to follow an orb of light on a limited timer. Gork eruptions, where you will have to fight against corrupted creators. And rim trails, in which you will have to pay attention to the local flora to reach the end of the trail. Each of these will give you access to various rewards, like the precious blue elidium, allowing you to improve your jetpack abilities. Outcast, a new beginning, is the sequel to a 1999 game. We tried to make it completely accessible to newcomers but also add some surprises for long-time fans. We paid much attention to respect the lore of the first game in every detail, with multiple members of the team being part of the original Outcast team and working hand-in-hand -hand with the fan community of the first game. We hope newcomers will have a great time discovering the planet Adelpha and the Talan civilization, while the old-time fans will be amazed to rediscover this world 25 years later and to dive back into it. Thank you.
ション。